an exhibition event in West Africa. ICTEL Expo 2023. I am Ugochi Emmanuel. I'm sure you want to know what this event is all about. Then join me on this ride as I take you through the tour. Don't forget to log on to our YouTube channel at Tech Live with a Go to get details of this event. Stay tuned. With technology carbon more relevant in the business world, the sector is fast becoming the first, the fastest moving tech sector in the non oil sector of our economy. Information and communication technology (ICT) has continued to disrupt the practice of agriculture, healthcare, learning, and manufacturing, among others. The Nigeria Communication Commission, NCC, has contributed significantly to the technology disruptions happening in Nigeria. As the regulatory body responsible for overseas telecommunications industry, the NCC plays a crucial role in creating an enabling environment for innovation. The advent of the internet is driven by information and communication technology. What are the strategies adopted by research and development to encourage disruptive innovations that will be of benefit to telecom consumers? We encourage innovation in other areas or besides the academia. Probably organize competitions, innovation hubs where people can come together and share ideas. And at the end of the day, when we have something like Hackathon also, we fund those projects with small projects we have. Creative industry has uh, areas, ethical considerations that we need to look at in the creative industry now is the privacy. You know, collection of data in the industry has to be done in a transparent manner and with the consent of the, uh, the, the owner of the data. And at the same time, to uh, intellectual property. We need to look at the area of intellectual property where uh, any tech destruction organization or group need to consider that there should be no unauthorized uh, um, diverging of information without a consent, without going through the ethical procedure of giving out information. So we need to begin to look at our curriculum at all levels, primary, secondary, tertiary, because um, curriculum is what will drive, you know, the impact of um, digital literacy and digital skill. Um, if you look at gaming, um, simulators, and some other aspect, these are all virtual reality applications that really disrupt the entire industries. But now these technologies are pushing the boundaries of creativity, enabling the artists designers to kind of create an interactive um, um, content to captivate the audience. Today you heard about a tech company like us and I saw a couple of other people here that I know who are in my industry and I've met a couple of people who are in the real estate industry. I see that uh, definitely Lagos Chamber of Commerce is doing something very well by recognizing the role of technology in disrupting industries. Basically, NCC is looking at how NCC created impact in the industry in terms of technology disruption. And also, we also mention about the strategic vision plan of the commission in line to, I mean, to underscore the importance of this uh, disruption of technology that we have now. NCC has carried out a lot of initiatives to ensure that we are also on board and also we are proactive in terms of our regulations, in terms of uh, going with the technology. So, and we also mentioned the initiatives we are doing so far. You can see we mentioned how far the teledensity have gone from a lower level to a higher level, about 119%. Number of subscribers has also gone up. 
and also the initiatives have in terms of uh, ensuring broadband has reached uh, the niche and corner of uh, Nigeria, wherever Nigerians are. This is where we end today's program. I will see you again with a beautiful and eventful, of course, educative show, same time next week. I remain your regular host, Gochi Emmanuel. Catch you.